When the Book of Mormon prophet Ammon taught King Lamoni the plan of salvation, the king was so overwhelmed by the experience that he fell to the earth as though he were dead, along with his wife and servants. The only exception was Abish, who took the queen by the hand and raised her up. The queen then took her husband Lamoni by the hand and raised him up as well. One level of symbolism in this story may not be apparent to readers today. In ancient context, this scene might have gathered power from mythological backgrounds pertaining to the resurrection of divine and royal beings by women. In ancient Canaanite mythology, for example, a goddess enabled her husband to be resurrected. In Mesopotamian mythology, Inanna Ishtar descended into the underworld to free her deceased lover so he could be brought back to life. One can find a similar motif in the New World as well, where a daughter of a lord partakes of fruit representing a dead hero and through her, renewed life in the world. These ancient traditions of goddesses being associated with the resurrection of their husbands could well have signaled to the peoples in the Book of Mormon that they too had just witnessed a divine miracle. With these details in mind, it seems reasonable to assume that the fainting and reviving of Lamoni and his wife might be understood as symbolizing death and resurrection. The story of Lamoni, his wife, and his people can remind all readers vividly of their own mortality and absolute need for a Redeemer. And now you know why. <laughs>